speak on how all the Zoom practices and the virtual practices went for you this week. You seemed to play just fine without a hitch, but I was curious what your thoughts were. Oh yeah, I mean, um, I mean, you got you got to adapt, you know. So obviously, I couldn't be there this week for practice. Um, and they had to uh, practice up live streaming. Um, Coach Thomas was mic'd up, talking me through uh, the run looks, the pass looks, everything. And you know, I was talking uh, back and forth with Drew all week. Um, you know, I, I, it, it didn't really affect me too much. You know, I mean, I pr I do my best to kind of stay in tune with what's going on. You know, week in and week out. So you know, I can kind of pick up things on the fly when we when we when we're going. Next one's from Ed Daniels. Alvin, can you speak to how poorly you felt or you didn't feel poorly during that whole time you were out? And how did you feel? Yeah, so uh, with me, it didn't really affect me too much. Um, just taste and smell kind of thrown off a little bit. Other than that, I was fine. You know, no no real side effects, no real symptoms. Um, I felt fine out there today, you know, even, you know, with being out for that extended period of time. I felt my wind wasn't really affected. Um, nothing really affected. So, but thankfully, you know, God, God, thank God for the help. But you know, just something I had to deal with. Next one's from Luke Johnson. Hey, Kay, were you kind of sweating out the uh, Saturday, Sunday uh, playoff slot last week? Like, were you just like, man, I, I hope they don't put this game on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, I was definitely watching. I'm like, oh, all right, you know, but I got a little, I got a little source. Um, they they hit me and calmed my nerves and told me it was gonna be a Sunday game. So I. I knew kind of early that it was going to be a Sunday game. So I was definitely relieved, you know, wanted to be out here and uh, help the team. But, man, you can't tell us that you've got better sources than we do. You, you're already I, better. I might got better sources. You know, the only person that might have better sources than me is Nick. Nick got – Nick, every time something dropped, Nick got it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Next one's from Amy Just. You know, it's your first game back, Mike's first game back. But Deontay, it was his first game back too. How big was him, uh, his performance for y'all this Man, Deontay a baller. You know, anytime he's available, we we obviously, you know, we want him on the field. Just like Sean said, um, you know, he's one of those dudes that's special in space, and you know, he can make a lot of things happen. So, just getting him more balls and getting him more opportunity to, to you know, make some plays. I mean, it's gonna be huge um, on this trip. Next one from Nick Underhill. Hey, did, did you feel like it took a little bit to establish a, a rhythm as an offense, just with some of the new guys coming back? Uh. I don't know. I, I, you know, I was kind of, I was just out there in the moment. Um, I feel like, you know, sometimes we, we start a little bit slower than we, we like to. Um, but, you know, like Sean said, we settled in in, in second half. We came out and we, we, we did some things that, you know, we obviously talked about all week. We, we got in better position, put ourselves in better position that, to execute and kind of, you know, get our tempo going. So, you know, I got I just got to watch it, like Sean said, and, and see. But, you know, I mean, these guys, like me, Mike, uh, Deontay, we've been playing. I mean, but you know, guys have missed time for certain things, and uh, I mean, nothing changes when you get back. It's just you know, plug and play. Next one's from Jacques Doucet. Alvin, are there any other things you can share with us about Deontay? I mean, here's a five foot six undrafted wide receiver coming out here and making these kind of plays. I mean, his work ethic. I mean, you know, what what can you share about him? Man, Deontay, he's just like. When I when I when I watch the other play, I kind of see a little me like he just he just want to go like he's like all right well I'm about to make a play whenever I touch the ball it is what it is I don't care how big small I don't care who's on the other side it is what it is I'm about to make a play the ball is in my hand so, I mean he just got a lot of will and a lot of heart you know I mean and it's backed by skill and hard work. Next one's from Luke Johnson. Hey, Elvin, is there any like uh, good byproduct of being forced to have to sit out week 17? Like like did you feel? recharge physically anything like that oh yeah i got a, I got a first round bye i got a bye week so you know i mean it, it it helps obviously you know just having that down downtime it's like i mean you you have no choice but to sit and recover and kind of like get your body back right so i felt good man i felt good out there today um i feel like i didn't really miss a beat last one's from amy just yeah, uh, Latavius, he had a similar touchdown earlier this season where he was, you know, a blocker first and then ended up, you know, bailing Drew out. Uh, how big is that when you have a guy who can, who's asked to do everything on a single play and uh, ends up scoring? Man, I mean, it's, it's the job description. You know what I'm saying? We do whatever we got to do um, within the um, parameters of the game to, to be able to put ourselves in position to win. So, you know, he was executing his job and, you know, he ended up, being on the scoring side of it, you know, it's benefiting by having a touchdown. Um, so, you know, it was definitely exciting. And, 
I was hyped because I didn't even know he fell and, and got back up and, you know, was able to get that ball. But, you know, Drew found him and he was able to score. So, he was definitely hyped. Thanks, AK.